What is up guys, this is Mr. Hubbub, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to replace the uh, screw, uh, heatsink screws uh, on the Xbox 360 motherboard. Um, this is something that uh, you do, like, if you repaired uh, an Xbox 360 that had the Red Ariga Death and it still had the um, X clamps on it, um, and these screws are going to hold the heat sinks on there much better than the uh, original X clamps. Um, and I, and, uh, I've already taken the X-clamps off and, uh, reapplied, like, the thermal paste. Um, I'm not gonna do a full Red Ring, uh, Red Ring of Death repair video because there's plenty of, uh, tutorials on that on YouTube already, but this is just gonna go more in-depth, uh, for just, like, the screw replacement stuff. So, what you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need your, uh, just a Phillips head screwdriver. One of these weird things, uh, this is, like, for, uh, getting the posts off the uh, heat sinks here, uh, see so this is a heat sink that had uh, it still has the posts on it you just uh, take one of these like hexagonal things I don't know what's called but and then you just like you know s screw them off with the I don't know that's pretty much all you have to do with that um, I've already uh, taken the liberty of taking this posts off of uh, these heat sinks right here so yeah um, also, you're gonna need uh, the the uh, M. These are machine screws, uh, M5 five by ten millimeter. I th think they are. Uh, you're also gonna need some plastic uh, or near or neoprene washers uh, in the same size, and some metal washers in the same size as well. Um, you're gonna need sixteen of each, by the way, uh, each kind of washer, and you're gonna need eight uh, of the screws. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. So first thing you want to do, you're going to want to work with this like vertically because it makes, just makes it so much easier to work with if it's like that. And what you're going to want to do, actually first I uh, should probably do this. You're going to take your screw and one of each washer, you're just going to Put put the metal washer on first, and then the plastic washer. This one's kind of smallish, but hang on. there we go. So it's, it's going to be like that, and you're going to do that for each screw. So you're going to have metal washer first goes on first, and then the plastic washer goes on next. So I'm just going to uh, make an edit here and. Uh, we're gonna, I'll be back uh, when I have all the washers on the screws. Um, okay, so once you have uh, all uh, washers on the screws, uh, what you're gonna do next is you're going to uh, put the board up like this. Oops. Um, you're gonna put these screws through the back. I, I'm gonna do one one heat, I do one heat sink at a time, just gonna make it much easier. Uh, so you put all these screws with the washers through the back of the board like that. Okay, now you're gonna t you turn it around. Now, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna put plastic, you're gonna um, put a plastic washer on each screw on this side of the board and you're gonna put a metal washer as well like that so you do plastic washer then metal washer so you're just gonna do this for all uh, four screws on here now um for this uh, washer thing if for the for the washers you don't need them like on the other side of the board like I just like to have them on for um, extra protection in case, like, you know, so it, like, doesn't damage, like, a trace or something like that. I don't know. But you do, it is completely necessary to have uh, the washers on the heat sink side of the board because it, it you don't want the heat sinks uh, coming too close to the board and shorting out the resistors around here. Um, you can actually, if you're um, worried about that happening at all, um, you can cover up the resistors here I think and here with uh, electrical tape or something like that but uh, anyway I'm just gonna keep going here 
with uh, the washers. Oops, that's a plastic washer. Okay, so now got all the washers on the screws. Now you're gonna take your heat sink with all the posts removed, and you're just gonna kind of set it like that. You're gonna kind of let go of the board a little bit. Just make sure that the washers aren't gonna fall off. Now you're gonna do this one at a time with each screw. You're gonna put put it uh, the screw in one hole and start screwing it in a little bit. Then you're gonna do the same with the uh, all the other ones. Just make just be sure that the washers don't fall out, or else you're gonna have to start all over. So just screw a little bit. Keep with uh, and then okay. So keep screwing in the back here. Okay, so. Now that I know that they're not, those washers aren't going to go anywhere, you're going to take your Phillips head screwdriver and just going to go ahead and screw those in. Be sure not to have them too tight, just make sh sure that they're nice and snug. Because it's going it, to, it, it'll warp the motherboard. So I'll get this last screw here. So, just gonna make sure that they're nice and snug, not too tight though. Okay, all right, that's uh, that's one heat sink. See the washers there, and everything. Okay, now we're gonna go uh, do basically the same for the other one. So you're just gonna take all the uh, screws again. Put them through the back like before. Nothing completely new here. This one does not want to go. There we go. Okay, so and hold it from. Keep your hand on the back here so the screws don't go anywhere. Hang on, this one's kind of. This one does not want to come. Comes for some reasons, because it's got this weird, like, there we go, okay. Now you're just going to do the same thing, plastic washer, then your, uh, this one's kind of hard to get, get out. It might be a little bit easier to do the, to do this one first, because of this thing might get in the way, I don't really know. But, you know, you can do whatever, whichever one you want, I think. It doesn't really matter. Unless you have, like, a massive preference or severe OCD. I don't know. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep uh, putting those on. This one's kind of... This is another weird washer. Got to... Okay, that one's on. And it's the last one. Now you gotta take your other heat sink, just like before, put it on here. This one might be a little bit more difficult. I don't know. Uh, hang on a second. Make sure that these things aren't going anywhere. Okay, put it on here. So once it's like, you know, that's stable, you just kind of screw them in individually. Like, well, just, just a little bit, but not like all the way. Just so that like, it's... You know that it's not gonna go anywhere, like the or the washers aren't gonna like pop off or anything. Okay. 
Okay, so now you're just going to do the same thing for, you know, take your Phillips head screwdriver, just screw those screws in. screw and all right all of them are on and that is pretty much it for uh the screw replacement so yeah nothing more to say really just got got all your screws and stuff on there washers and everything so yeah that's about it all right i hope this helped you out guys um give it a like if you think it deserves it and all right that's it uh thanks for watching